Here's my little Mini 250 with the Brain FPV. I'm going to do a little testing. Uh, for those of you who just want to see the carnage first, I'll go ahead and you don't have to sit through the whole video. Here's the, here's the end. My regular fans. See, I care about you. Okay, now this is the stuff for my buddies from Tau Labs that are helping me. Uh, here I did set my Bear Z down to 10. Uh, here's my constants after Cal. Okay, first flight, day one. I had the mode saved, but I didn't really, I didn't, I left it in return to home. I thought I was on position hold, so I was a little puzzled why it was flying back. You can see here at the lower center, it's got the position to home, uh, distance and direction. He's doing a nice job. Here I am flying at an altitude hold after that, uh, just to be sure it handled okay. And it does, uh, probably a little better than I do. Yeah, I nearly got a haircut there. And, uh... Yeah, here's the nice little Mobius camera. Now, the distance to home here, it showed that maximum distance was 121 feet. Uh, keep that in mind. That, that was probably about right. Now, I put the goggles on and play with it a little bit. Under the goggles. Looking pretty nice. Uh, you see this Mobius, if you watched the last video about the brain, you'll notice how jittery the HD tube was. Uh, thought it was the Berg. It's something about the speed of the camera. I was getting some kind of harmonic there where it really jittered. According to Google Earth, the park is about 600 feet across. Remember that. <laughs> Here he's saying I'm 384 feet away. I'm kind of thinking no. You can set the home location again from the OSD, which is sweet. And then there's this flight. Now I decided to do a little uh, kind of racy-like flying with the goggles on. See here, he's already saying he's 100 feet away, 870 feet away. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call BS on that. And then I threw it into return to home, thinking I'd do a position hold, and he immediately climbed. And uh, then I threw it into altitude hold, again, not realizing everything was fine. Flew it back, this is sped up, obviously. There's my Zen pose in the goggles. And we'll do a couple of fast runs here. Trying to kind of keep it low, and it's it's tuned actually very very non-aggressively, and yet it handles quite well. This is not sped up here. This is uh, this is real time. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty decent in the goggles. So. And uh, you'll see here as I'm heading for that tree, uh, it's it's very responsive. You can get out of trouble. Now my video is starting to break up, and at this point I figure my battery is getting low, so I brought it back uh, again very expeditiously. This is not sped up, and uh, maybe it was a little too expeditiously. And see, I didn't hit the tree. That, uh, I guess that was a landing. Notice the total distance there was 307 feet. Uh, even spite of it thinking it was 800 in real time, I got to figure that out. Uh, Flight five, I was trying a different OSD page. You can configure like six different pages. My switch alone let me have three. And then here, uh, actually the crash I think is my fault. I, again, I'm fighting return to home thinking it's position hold. But look at this, the, the whole stabilization system went nuts. And I have seen it do this on the bench. Uh, this would be very bad in the air, I suspect. Okay, when I got home and looked at my videos, I figured out what the actual flight modes were. You see here, you can set them up just like the vector while you're flying with your controller, no computer necessary. We'll do a little uh, position hold testing here. And it's doing a real nice job of staying. See there where it says it's 11 feet and what direction it is? That's not moving much. It's pretty nice. But he's doing a pretty good job of staying in place. He's starting to pull up more and more now than he was. And there's my little boss cam DVR I keep talking about. Probably because I'm videoing. Yeah, he was holding pretty steady a minute ago. I probably should uh, concentrate. There we go. Now he's nice and steady again. The up and down is me. He does, apparently, it's not integrated with altitude hold. And that boss cam is where all of my HUD video comes from here. Okay, we're going to do a return to home test. Um, 
same thing here. It doesn't. I, I, I don't think it's using the throttle uh, in return to home wall position hold yet. It looks like it's just from doing whatever I told it. But notice it's uh, very nicely coming back home once it got high enough, whatever the setting was. You can see an abrupt stop when it got close. But now it's toilet bowling, and I don't know if my tolerance is set uh, where he, he thinks he's close enough to start the descent and landing. So uh, I went ahead and did a descent forward here. You'll see the throttle drop down, and about 25% throttle coming down through the prop wash. But he's still staying real close, even with that going on. So he's correct, and all I'm doing is throttle. Then I did another goggle flight. Now, those of you that are used to my, uh, have seen some of my other ones, you notice that this Mobius has kind of a fisheye field of view. Uh, my other Mobius, after multiple crashes, finally ate it. Now, here I throw it into position hold, and he is grabbing the throttle. I'm only at 40% throttle, and he's trying to go into low Earth orbit here. So I threw it back, uh, back into altitude hold. Well, not right away, did I? I am under the goggles right here, so through the altitude hole, I start bringing it down quickly through the prop wash, and I should have just let go, given it some throttle, let him stabilize himself, but we were both fighting and just couldn't recover from the turbulence. Yeah. No real damage, a couple of props, 